Hey, what's up guys? My name is Michael and this is Core Games. In this series we will take a look at Core, which is an amazing project that has been released last year and I think it has kind of a big chance to make a decent progress. We are right now in a menu, sort of, although this is a live game. As you can see there are some players around and all you see over there is basically a world that it's like a steam you know where you can play multiple games and this feels like the steam has gone alive so you can just fly around there which I'll show you right now just to take a look around and what is the most important thing about this game and the reason why I started playing it is you can create your own games with very simplified way which we will take a look I'll just hop into create and you can see some of the projects I've started but you know they are pretty bad anyway let's just let's just go there and I'll just basically show you what it looks like but we will get into that later right now we're in editor and this is how it looks like like my creation which is pretty bad you got the hierarchy on the right side and as you can see there these are all the stuff that's involved in the game and you can like you know put, put in some mobs create explosions effects basically anything you need to launch a game i'll just quickly show you the gameplay so you can see i can you know like grab this stuff actually both of them and I can just shoot fireballs and frostbolts so this was supposed to be an RPG but you know it's kind of first of all it's not that easy as you may like think because still you need some sort of knowledge to make it all work right but so far despite the fact I'm not a developer this is like the easiest way of creating games I've seen it was a funny time but we'll talk about it later I'm gonna just quick it for now yeah don't save it back to core world because in this series I will be looking for games that are something worth and I think we might start well actually let's take a look We will start with the most active games, why not? I'll just take a quick look and... I've been to Island Survival, so... I'll show you this as a first game. Just to quickly tell you, this game basically starts with an introduction where you're in a plane flying somewhere and obviously the plane has an engine failure which results in a crash and you made it alive on this beach, this is where you start. So overall pretty good looking game, you know the scenery is pretty beautiful but Look at the sharks, they can obviously attack me, but I will not go there. Yeah, you can collect these. This is basically a base camp where every player 
as their own camp and I haven't seen this one actually now I have to look for mine which is there and <laughs> as you can see it's kind of poor but you know we can fix that you can press X to get into sort of crafting menu create bunch of items and there's already someone with the sword look at that well I'll be happy just collecting wood and you can press one on the keyboard look at the X wow this is a stash where you can store items very useful and you can also sleep to regenerate basically I, I don't know what's like the real point of this game so, so far but I've you know it kind of starts that instead of get gathering experiences you're basically upgrading this base and you need materials to upgrade the base and when I press X I see that I need wood and iron so let's get they I haven't seen iron yet but what I know I can do is chop a tree to get a wood Come on apples, I like that. It makes very nice sound when you actually eat them. Which I'll show you. Press in inventory and look, just listen to it. That's... <laughs> I love the sound. Just What, what's more on this island is zombies because it's a survival game and you have to expect zombies I don't see any of them right now but I can find them somewhere maybe what is this is it just legs holy sh are they going to attack me? Oh my god! <laughs> that looks so fucking crazy! Running your legs! I've already been killing sharks last time I played this game and I have to admit I died twice so now I have to find an iron or oh another zombie there are two of them or actually one and a half let's just chop them down there you go Maybe I'll just try to destroy the rocks if they just drop an iron. Let's check it out. Okay, it seems to be just stone. Let's try it one more time.
What is new since I've been here last time is on the right side you can see a shortcuts for everything you need to use. Last time when I was there I didn't know how to open up like the crafting menu so it's very useful and I appreciate that definitely. Let's go up the hills. There is something, what is that? It's mushroom, no. the mushroom no come on I need iron wow what color this is almost like a toxic blue oh <laughs> there are legs I haven't seen them Well, that's <laughs> always a useful survival thing. Now let's just maybe kill this dinosaur. Let's try. Oh, it hurts, it hurts. Something I have to mention I do not like on this game is whenever I open any window like inventory, if I want to close it I'm used to press escape, but in this game escape, it gets me all the way to the core menu, so I have to press escape again and click with mouse on the close button. But ex except this one little thing, this game is pretty damn good. Another trash. Oh, that's metal. Finally, something useful. Oh, <laughs> what's this? What is this? Oh, I got crossbow. Man. Do I have any ammo? Is there a way to aim? looks like I'm aiming but it I, I don't know no, not much of difference I'll just try shoot it it's making some damage not a lot I run out of my run out of emanation that sucks Anyways, we got this mighty axe. Oh, I'm dying. No. And there you see it. I'm dying all the time and now I have to retrieve my stash. I like this actually it makes sense when you die somewhere you lose all your stuff which makes it a little bit more realistic but 
obviously if normally if you would die you're just done you know it's over And just run, run, baby, run. Oh, I think I'm fine, although he's still chasing me. No, he's still chasing me, and now <laughs> there's another one. I think I can escape. some reason the sky is red now it's seems like it's night time oh my god I have to I have to run all the way to base to escape if it works though Oh yeah, they cannot go there. Ah, you cannot kill me there. Is this an iron ore? Oh no, it's coal! We don't need this. Let's actually go through this cave if there's something else, but I think it's just coal. Mm. I'll try one more time, but I think this is just not what I was looking for. Anyways, despite the fact we haven't found an iron, I think this game is pretty good and I will definitely set it this game as benchmark. So I'll give it 7 out of 10 work lives of Azinoth and we'll see other games. Well for this time it's all, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. and. Bye for now.